I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data transformation. Today, we're gonna to look at two of my favorite tools, which also happen to be two of the most useful tools that you can have in your data analytics toolkit, Python and Access Databases. Python is one of the fastest growing languages today, and in the data analytics world, it's growing even faster. Python is known for its simplicity and ease of use and its ability to be used just about anywhere. Microsoft Access is an awesome file-based database that is the database that's included in Microsoft Office, which is installed on millions of computers all around the world. You can use a Microsoft Access database for just about anything, and it won't require you to install a database server. So today, we're going to connect to Microsoft Access with Python, and we're going to do some simple operations, such as uh, inserting a row and selecting some data for viewing. Let's get to it. OK, so before we get to coding, you do need to know that you will need to use pip to install PyODBC on your uh, installation of Python. I'm using the default Python download uh, from python.org. And you can see here how I added PyODBC to my installation. OK, and after we've got our uh, PyODBC installed, I'll show you that I have an access database here uh, with some rows on a fake project that has some project data in a table there. And what I'll do is I'm going to go from the idle shell and open a new project. And we'll start by using the import statement uh, for our PyODBC. And uh, I'll add a console uh, message to say that we're starting our procedure. And I'll go ahead and create a variable to hold our connection string. And the connection string uh, is going to have a couple of parts to it. Um, the first part is going to include the driver. And that driver is going to be the Microsoft Access Database uh, ODBC driver. And that driver can be used for either .mdb files or .accdb files as is specified in the name of the driver. Uh, the second part of our connection string is going to have the database name. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add our database name to the uh, connection string. In this case, I just created a database in the C dev folder and make sure to include the R in your string in front of your string there so that the uh, backslashes won't uh, be affected. And from there we can go ahead and create our connection object which is uh, from our PyODBC, the PYO alias dot connect with our connection string as the argument and we will create a cursor after that and the cursor will uh, be the cnn.cursor. And from there, I'll create an SQL string that we can use uh, to do our insert and our select. And what we'll do here is we'll insert into our project data table that is in the uh, .accdb file database and we're going to populate the info type and comment uh, columns uh, with some values. And on the next line, uh, putting our string together, I'll add some values that I want to put into our table. So I'll make an action as the item type or info type and uh, the action will be Mary is to help with uh, landing pages. And we'll go ahead and close that off. Uh, and that'll make our 
SQL string for uh, inserting into the database. And from there, I can just say cursor.execute and put SQL as our argument. Now that statement could have been, say, a delete statement or an update statement as well. Next, we'll add a cursor.commit so that the update or insert or delete will actually uh, be saved in the database. From there, we'll go ahead and change our LL and we'll use a select statement instead. And in order to do that, we'll just change our insert string into a select string of our choice. And then from there, we can say cursor.execute with SQL as our argument. And then we can loop through the results of cursor.fetchAll to see what we got. In order to do that, we'll do for uh, each row in cursor.fetchAll. I'll go back and change, take out that each in there. That's my .NET coming through. We'll say print the row. Um, and then we'll add a console message uh, saying print success uh, so that the user knows what's happening. And then we'll close our cursor and we'll close our connection. And I'll leave a message for the user that we are finished and the connection is closed. After that, I'm going to go back and fix a couple of things here. Uh, that for each is not right. We want to say for row in cursor.fetchAll and I'll add a closing bracket in my SQL statement. And then I'll hit F5 on the keyboard and we'll go back to our Python shell to see what happens. And you can see our insert worked and we have our data from Microsoft Access. If you like the content that you've been seeing on the channel, please like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the bell so that you'll be notified of any new videos that I post. And once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.